Hey guys, Sebastian here from GreenMusicProductions.com. So today is another quick tip video and it's going to be a short one. Uh, before we start, if you don't know yet, I have a mailing list. Just click on the link in the description. It's free. I'm not going to spam you guys. It's just to notify you when I upload new videos. And I will also make some exclusive videos for my mailing list subscribers in the future. So today I want to talk about the context menu to help you get a faster workflow and specifically when creating folders, group, FX and VCA faders. So uh, let's say you want to put those tracks here in a folder. Usually what people would do is add a folder and then move them in the folder. But there's a faster way. You just have to select them either by control clicking on the one you want or just clicking on the first one, shift clicking on the last one to select them all. You right click and you go on move selected tracks to new folder. Now it's going to create a folder with all of those tracks in it. So that's really useful. The same thing applies to if you want to create effects or a group or VCA faders. So let's say I want all of these to be uh, routed to a new group. You just have to select them in the same way. You right click and you go under add groups channel to selected channels. So if you just click that, it's going to ask you to uh, write a name for your group. So let's just say I call it group. When you press enter, all of these tracks are already routed to the new group. So it's really fast and useful. The same thing applies to if you want to create effects tracks. So if I select them all, I right click and I go under add effects channel to selected channels. So if I click that, it's going to ask me a name for my effects. Let's just call it effects and I'm going to choose a random effects. Let's say an H delay uh, stereo. So if I click add track, now the new FX track is highlighted. And when I go under my existing tracks, as you can see, it already created the sends for me. So that's really useful. And as usual, if I want to open the send plugin, I can hold alt and double click on any of the send field here. That's a nice tip also. So once again, the same thing applies to if you want to add a VCA fader on those tracks, just select them first, right click and then there's an option called add VCA fader to the selected channels. So if you do that, a VCA is created for all of those channels. So that will improve your workflow and help you get faster uh, in Cubase. I hope you liked that video. As always, if you liked it, please subscribe or press that like button. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye guys.